Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, today I am filming from my nail room desk. It's kind of funny, you should see this tripod set up here. It's, it's kind of wonky. Um, but yeah, I'm in my nail room today. And I have a Dollar Tree haul. This is a relatively large haul. Um, I keep looking at it. It's like sitting right here on the edge of my desk. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Oh yeah, yeah, I had a, I, and like normal, I'm just gonna grab and go and pick and choose. Um, I need to kind of get this stuff put away. It's been sitting here for a few days. Uh, so the first thing is, this is by Frost King. It is a drop cloth, just a plastic sheet. Um, oh, I didn't realize this. This is not a Dollar Tree product. It is made in the USA. So yeah, this is a name brand drop cloth apparently. So, uh, we are going to be painting my master bedroom. When we moved in, we painted one wall and one door, and it is navy blue. And everything else is builder white. So, I'm going to be painting the other three walls in a really pretty soft gray color. And I will be fil filming that because I did get some interior design help for this space, and I want to be able to, I want the person that helped me with it be also be able to promote herself as what. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be painting the bedroom a light soft gray color, at least the other three walls. I love the navy wall. It just needs something else. We just have some builder white going on in there, and I will be filming that process. Uh, so with painting, I also picked up this. It's by Toolbench, and it's a paint cup. So like you could set your brush in, in the handle and then you know you got a little section to wipe off any excess paint and you could also pour paint back into the bucket just for those fine detailing uh areas so i grabbed that and i've mentioned before i got a cricut for christmas and i've been watching a lot of tiktoks and youtube videos and some people recommend using dollar tree clear um contact contact paper or shelf liner I don't know if you can see that, a shelf liner as a um, transfer tape. So I'm gonna give that a try because that'd be awesome to have a dollar transfer tape that works. So I will let you guys know if that works below. Anybody else have a, a, a Cricut or cutting machine like that? Sorry if my light's a little weird. Um, if you do, let me know down below what kind of projects you're making right now. Mine's just for personal use. Uh, so yeah, I grabbed that. Uh, I've grabbed these jumbo paper clips in the fun colors. I actually got these for my planner to be able to like quickly go to the date or not the date, the, um, the page I need, like the month. Cause my planner is monthly. It's not weekly or daily. It's one large month calendar. Anyway, so I grabbed some large paper clips for that. I grabbed another package of these napkins. They're really, really good. I hauled them before. I am happy with them. I'm going to keep purchasing these. And these are very, very comparable to that Vanity Fair brand. I mean, they're great. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, these are just some small garbage bags for little trash cans, just for our bathroom. I mean, the most that gets thrown in those cans are like tissue, so I'm not worried about like strength just so much to not have to clean my can out all the time i grabbed another box of these foil sheets i actually use these in my nail um i in my nail business i do use some personally like for cooking but um cost efficient wise cooking it's better just to do a big roll but for me i can i use these to soak off gel polish or fake nails um because it, it lasts a while. I don't have many people that tend to need soaking off. So that's what I picked up that for. Oh, I forgot to grab this. This is a pomegranate vanilla hand sanitizer. It's a three fluid ounce. It comes with the little silicone like casing that you can hang from a bag. And it is 70% alcohol. So it is a pretty strong one. Um, it just has a light fruity smell. It's not offensive. So I grabbed this, and again, this is all from the Dollar Tree. Everything's a dollar, which is hilarious. So my, every time I show my husband something like amazing, he goes, that was only a dollar? Like, it's like mind blowing the things you can find for a dollar. All right, so this next thing is a book. It was a little beat up, um, but they didn't have any other ones there. And it is Container Gardening. 
It looks like this book retailed for $14.95. And it's, I mean, as you can see, it's a little rough, but this is for me. So I wasn't really worried about it. And it's like tips and tricks and like designs for gardening in pots. That's what container gardening is, is gardening in pots. Um, care and maintenance, hanging baskets. So I thought that was neat. And we are starting to figure out what we're gonna be growing and what, how we need to add on to our current garden situation. Um, so I thought that'd be fun. I picked up two more of these plastic bins. They finally had the white ones back in stock. Oh, okay. So I also, you know, when it sits here for two or three days, I forget what I buy. Um, I got some of this Coralite pain relieving balm. Coralite was formerly Salon Poss. So this is a name brand. And my husband's pretty into fitness. He, we, he cycles on our Peloton almost daily. I've gotten into it for the last couple weeks. So I'm hoping to see some progress there. All right. So my point is, ouch, knees, joints. We ain't, we're not 20 anymore. All right. What else do I have here? Okay. So I picked up these things of decor carrots. They're like twine wrapped little carrots. I got these for my daughter. It's kind of a joke. The last time we visited my sister and brother-in-law, their little boy has wooden, like Melissa and Doug style carrots for, you know, just playing with. And she threw a fit over them. She like wanted to have them all the time. So I thought it'd be kind of funny, even though they're not wooden, she can play with these. All right, so I found these pouches at Dollar Tree and I was kind of surprised because usually when you find pouches or makeup bags, they have some sort of text on them or they're covered in glitter or they're a little, in my opinion, tacky, or for small children. Uh, so I found these ones. It comes in purple, pink, and black. And I got two of the black. And I'm thinking Cricut Projects. So, and before I go spending the money on like the six or seven dollar ones at Michael's, these would be great to practice with. So I got four of these little makeup bags. And they're really cute. They have like a suede texture. But the inside is definitely like a plastic line. So if you use it for makeup, you can wipe it right on out. So these I got for some projects. I got stuff everywhere. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, before I show you the next items, I'm gonna preface this with, I am not pregnant. I am not having children. I don't have any plans for more children. Um, that's just a personal choice of my family. However, my sister-in-law is having another baby. This will be her second one. She's not due until later this summer. So I've already started to pick up a few items for her. I got this pack of spoons and we actually don't know the gender yet. Not that it matters, but I try to pick more gender neutral options. You know, and she already has a little boy. So it honestly, there's spoons, nobody cares, but I picked up a package of spoons. And then I found these washcloths and they were super, super soft. I love the gray and white color. This one had the stars and this one had like a chevron and a solid gray and a solid white. So you get four really soft washcloths and it looks like they're a poly cotton blend for a dollar. I was hoping to find bibs in the same pattern, but I hadn't, didn't see those yet. And then I also picked up these fragrance-free baby wipes by Fisher Price. So I will be sending them a gift basket eventually when I get it all completed. Okay, so the next item I'm gonna show you, I've actually been hunting for. It's a new item. I've seen other people haul it before. My store just got it in. I have one in the package, one out of the package, because I just I just had to see it. So I picked up two of these. They're by Essentials, and they're these little pop-up like tote bag things. And this one is cream with black stripes, and then they also had a black with cream stripes. And I'll show you the one that I opened. Yes, sweetie. This is yeah, it is hard again. Ice pack. Okay, so it is a pretty good size little tote. Um, it is a plastic material. However, the outside has a texture that looks like um, burlap or fabric. So I feel like these look much more like high end 
than than they are if that makes sense but overall i'm pretty happy with the quality of this for a dollar i'm not really worried about like it falling apart i'm thinking dog toys um baby diaper supplies by you know by the dresser or if you like when my daughter was in diapers we had diaper supplies obviously in her room but we also had a basket on our main level so we had something quick to grab for so it's an attractive looking basket so i did grab two i might need to go get more um because they're cute you know you could choose you could do seasonal accessories like if you've got a closet and you don't like looking at all the hats and gloves you can put them in here put them in the top of the closet and then you're only seeing the pretty basket um and this is like a plasticky material so you could wipe it clean you could probably label it with your cricket if you're going to say like sandals or whatever so i i probably will grab more of those those are pretty impressive all right so i picked up a large thing of band-aids like the band-aid itself is large these are a name brand i recently did something i haven't done since i was a teenager and i filleted my leg with my razor like four inches up my shin it was gross but then i realized i didn't have any oversized band-aids for that and then so i i thought when i was going through my bags and i showed my husband when i purchased i couldn't find this so i didn't think i bought it so oh maybe i didn't actually grab it when i thought it did Apparently I did. So we have two of these. So I guess I'll put one upstairs next to the Peloton and one with our other like medicines and stuff. Yes. I also picked up this 500 count of um, hair elastics and they come in pink, blue, green, yellow. Those are pretty Eastery colors. Just for my daughter, she's got really fine hair. Most hair ties don't stay in her hair. Although she hates these, um, they work the best. So, uh, yeah, so then I picked up another bar of this soap. Um, this is probably the third or fourth time I've bought this. My husband really liked it. We're going to continue to buy it until he changes his mind. That was good. Um, the next few items are t-shirts. I found the mother load of t-shirts. Okay, so I grabbed, this one is a large Haynes t-shirt and it is a heather gray long sleeve so this will be for my husband you know just some basic like cleaning the house working out just some basic t-shirts i feel like it's like a staple and i don't care what gender you are in your wardrobe a basic t-shirt okay this also this one is a taint at uh, taint Haynes tagless and it is like a navy blue color. This one is short sleeve. Um, I was looking at getting some for myself and the smallest I have was a medium, which I'm totally cool with because shirts like this shrink, but it was ginormous. It was huge. So I'm sure these are one-off shirts, but again, if you need them, you need them, right? And then the next few shirts are toddler size. So I got a 4T in this one and it's like um it's a gray color but it's not i wouldn't call it heather gray it's almost like stone so i got that one this one is a 5t which is but all these are technically larger than what my daughter wears well these two were um but again oversized t-shirts for sleeping for painting for do playing out in the dirt like it all works um, I got this hot pink, like is, this is highlighter pink. It's hard to tell in the, in the camera because it looks a little darker, but this is a true highlighter pink. And I'm thinking she has a shirt that I got her from, or my mom bought her from an aquarium that says peanut butter and jelly. And it's like a peanut butter, like bread with a jellyfish. And she's growing out of it and it, she asks for it all the time. So I'm thinking about with my Cricut making her a new one with that and then this one is her size this is a 3t this is just a dark gray so t-shirt finds work on point i've been seeing posts about baseball hats and i hope i find some of those and then the last item i have here to show you which this is a long one is this bandana this is 
amazing. It is 100% cotton, you only get one. Uh, they do have other bandanas that, that have come in two pack that are like typical bandana print. Um, and they're polyester. So if you're looking for like 100% cotton or even a cotton blend, go check the Dollar Tree. You know, like I said, the regular style bandanas do come two to a pack. So if you're a crafter, if you like to make headbands, um, if you like to just use a bandana, get your hair out of your face instead of a headband, you know, whatever. But I love, 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 love this print and I just had to buy it. And what's really funny is my husband's like, what are you gonna use that for? And I was like, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Um, you know, I can tie it on my purse. I'm thinking wrapping it up and using it in my hair initially, but I love it. So that is everything I picked up from my Dollar Tree for this trip. It is a larger one, so say, thank you for hanging out this whole time. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe so you're notified the next time I upload a video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!